My name is Jane Eichern. I'm Michelle DeRocher. And our project is supporting cooperative cataloging at Harvard and beyond. So cooperative cataloging is, is really a, a decades old term that's very big in the cataloging community. So when um, new materials arrive in the library, catalogers um, create a record that rep is almost a surrogate for that item to aid in discovery through the Hollis catalog. They don't just describe the, you know, the title and the publication information and the authors and creators, but they try to provide keywords to increase um, a user's ability to find that item if they're researching a particular topic. I used to joke that in the first few years of automation, we were always trying to paste that 3 by 5 card onto the computer screen. But we've become much more savvy. At Harvard, we have a, an incredible wealth of people who know, uh, have deep subject knowledge, have deep language knowledge of uh, esoteric uh, um, objects. And in general, catalogers are describers and organizers and revealers. Um, and when you think of the millions of records that are in the database, um, y you realize that you can't find something if it's not described in a way that you can find it. The project is to try to find tools that can help us work in a shared database, WorldCat, OCLC WorldCat, so that we can share information broadly among other libraries. To try to build tools that would create uh, the efficiencies that catalogers need to do their work in such a high production environment as the Harvard Library. Uh, macros are um, small series of actions that can be um, programmed into a string so that one keystroke will evoke that series of actions and therefore uh, taking away the burden of doing it over and over again manually. So any kind of repetitive typing act, any kind of text that is the same, any kind of uh, even moving around the record action that you would have to do over and over again by moving the cursor or mousing can be put into a macro. Say a book had bibliographical references in it. So you could add that field to every record that needed it just by invoking that keystroke. The barrier to learning this on one's own was quite high. So what we did was find a trainer he was able to speak the same language uh, and knew the activity that people were engaged in and demonstrate some of the tools he would built as a way to um, aid in people's learning of this programming language. Now at this uh, juncture of the program, we're trying to form small groups of people who can be working on certain segments of, of the work, of some of the most useful macros, putting them together um, in order to uh, eff effectively speed up the learning. And the timing of it has been very good because it's brought together so many people from across the library. Staff from about 11 campus locations were engaged in the project, so I think there were some people who had never met each other who started um, hearing about common needs. Um, perhaps there were some tools that they didn't know existed that we currently use in some settings and that they have since been able to share. We have met a lot of our goals, but I think that this project will live on beyond its formal ending because we can keep building macros and keep collaborating with more and more people.